Tomorrow will be another first alert weather day, our first since that major heat wave we had ended last week. And with near triple digit temperatures on the way, fire danger is a major concern. Yeah, fire restrictions are now in place for anyone inside the Columbia River Gorge National Scenic Area, which stretches from Troutdale to just east of the Dalles. Fox 12's Jeffrey Limblum joins us now live in Troutdale with the details. Jeffrey? Well, Pete Nora, that's right. We are out here in Troutdale, and earlier on today we trekked eastbound into the gorge, Cascade Locks, where we met up with a couple of groups of people who were eager to get out and about, enjoy the sunshine and great outdoors despite the heat and fire restrictions. It's been hot, cold, windy, yeah. kind of all over the place. The fresh air, the quiet. This group setting up shop at the Eagle Creek campsite is on a weeks long road trip from Montana and up the coast celebrating Ariana's 18th birthday. We were looking for campsites and ended up here. Along the way experiencing different weather conditions. When inland they say they've especially felt the heat which is expected to approach triple digits Tuesday. We're hoping that it's not too hot tonight. <laughs> that heat also likely contributing to increasing and heightened fire danger which you can see is in the red territory at Cascade Locks. It doesn't take much when everything's getting dry. Kat Wanless has been a campsite host for eight years and says she routinely sees Forest Service teams come out monitoring the trees and fuels and whether or not they're posing a threat for wildfires. A spark gets loose and hits something dry, it can just start traveling like crazy. Monday, fire danger led to several restrictions in the Columbia River Gorge scenic area, including smoking regulations and bans on explosives or fireworks. Similar restrictions, Wanless says she has been seeing on a yearly basis since the gorgeous devastating 2017 Eagle Creek wildfire, burning tens of thousands of acres. One little smoke bomb started it and it destroyed the gorge. She says that means no campfires, even at developed campgrounds like this. But things that are allowed, lanterns, petroleum-fueled stoves, and heating devices that can be turned off. Not all of the camping sites we've been to have been allowing fires. Some places it's a huge fire hazard for yeah. wildfires. At a nearby site, we ran into another group. We just wanted to get out and have a girls weekend and just hang out and camp. <laughs> they were also just showing up to their site, ready to beat the heat and opting out of the prospect for a hike in the heat on Tuesday. <laughs> we decided no, we're just gonna like chill, yeah. Either way, despite the fire danger and heat to come, the group's happy to be out and about and among good company. The area is just really nice, so I would encourage people to come out, it's really fun. For a current list of fire restrictions in the gorge, check out our website, kptv.com, where we have a list. Reporting live in Troutdale, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon.